Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smitha. So recently I got approached by one of my subscribers and he was talking about how he was interested in taking this machine learning bootcamp, but he was not sure if that was the best path for him or not. So I decided to actually make a video on this because I'm sure there's a ton of you out there who are also in the same path as him. And also there's a lot of new machine learning bootcamps which have popped up in just the last year or so. And they're not exactly cheap, you know, they do come with a hefty price tag. So is it worth it? That's what this video is gonna be about. When you think about boot camps, you think about the most traditional sort of boot camps, which are coding boot camps or software development boot camps. So how these boot camps are usually structured is they start off by teaching you some basic programming knowledge such as object-oriented programming and followed by data structures and then moving on to more harder topics and also eventually at the end you do build some sort of portfolio such as web apps or even mobile apps and then once you graduate you know you actually have some sort of mentor who ensures that you know they're following up with you till you actually successfully land a job. So these coding boot camps are actually highly successful. I feel like a lot of people uh, go into these coding boot camps without any technical knowledge, but they do manage to actually get some, some sort of technical role at the end of it. Now, we can't really speak on how successful a machine learning boot camp is because they are really new, but they do seem to be following the same sort of formula that these coding boot camps are often following. So there's definitely a high chance for success here as well. So I've actually spent some time and looked at the various different machine learning boot camps out there and I've noticed that they're actually structured in a really similar way. So you start off by taking a very basic introductory course into AI and what is machine learning, what is AI, what is deep learning, what is reinforced learning, what is supervised learning. So all of these subfields within uh, AI and machine learning, they kind of just define it for you. And then you follow it up with taking an introductory course into actually what is machine learning. But one really interesting thing I've noticed is that they don't actually focus much at all on any sort of programming. Now, they don't teach you any Python programming and they don't focus at all on any statistics or linear, linear algebra. And I'll explain why later on. So, and after you take that basic machine learning course, and you, take, you might take an advanced machine learning course, but then you definitely jump into very industry specific problems like computer vision and natural language processing. Why computer vision and natural language processing? Because that's actually one of the most common things that a lot of these AI based companies deal with. So that's the reason why a lot of these boot camps include these two subfields of machine learning. And you usually finish all of this off by doing a capstone project. So by the end of six months after you've graduated from this bootcamp, you should have about uh, three to five solid machine learning projects in your portfolio. So what happens after that? After that, you're usually paired with a mentor who is working in the industry. And this person will usually give you advice on how you guys can land a job. So a lot of these startups, what they do is they give you this sort of money back guarantee. So if you don't land a job within six months, they kind of say that, okay, you get your money back. So at this point, you must be thinking, well, all of those things sound amazing and a bootcamp in machine learning probably sounds like a good deal right now. So what's the catch? Well, to, for starters, the courses that you guys actually take in these online-based boot camps, uh, they're actually courses which are freely available online. So they're not actually going to give you any really original resources or original tutorials which you might be expecting. But the advantage with these machine learning boot camps is that they kind of have structured the entire course for you. So every single resource that you might need, they kind of have structured it already. So you're not going to be wasting any time or any effort figuring out, okay, where do I start? Which course do I take? You know, so that is taken care of. So that's the biggest advantage here. The next thing is actually this guarantee of a job. So the circumstances which they have written this guarantee of, the, of a job is actually pretty vague. 
they don't actually define what type of job or how much you know it's going to be paying you so it's usually there's no guarantee that you guys are going to get a really well-paying job at a well-known company and also there's no guarantee that you'll be landing machine learning engineering roles it's highly likely that the sort of roles that you'll be landing after taking these sort of machine learning boot camps is probably that of a data scientist or data analyst so there's no guarantee of you know, landing the specific roles like machine learning, engineering roles. I was looking for a lot of different type of machine learning boot camps out there. And this is one of the ones which I actually came across. So this is a machine learning career track, which lasts for about six months. The price is about close to two lakh Indian rupees, which I think is about 4,000 US dollars. Don't quote me on this. And they give you about 14 real world projects, which is actually pretty good. Uh, if you think about it. If we look at the curriculum, they have kind of split it down into nine different units. And I've kind of actually calculated it's about 500 to 600 hours of coursework in total spread across six months. So it's about eight to 10 hours for a week of uh, commitment as they have mentioned. So the first unit is an overview of AI and machine learning engineering stack. But this is just like a really basic overview, kind of what I was mentioning to you guys earlier about what most of these machine learning boot camps actually teach you. So they start off by teaching you like what is AI, what is the basics of AI. Then they delve into what is machine learning, what is data science, what is data analytics, what kind of tools and libraries are going to be used. Uh, what is deep learning? You know, all of these subfields of machine learning as well, supervised learning and all of those things. And next up, there's unit two, which is data wrangling at scale and statistics for AI. So at this point, uh, they're actually teaching you how to handle a lot of different types of data. The main thing it seems is actually getting data off the web because you are going to be making use of a lot of APIs and also seeing a lot of data on different websites and trying to collect that. So it's only until unit three where you guys actually learn some foundations of machine learning. So you explore different types of supervised and unsupervised machine learning algorithms and you learn how to implement them. And at unit four, by the way, uh, at unit three, I just have to mention, you're probably going to be taking a lot of courses that I've already mentioned on my channel previously. So a lot of courses off of Coursera, probably the Andrew Ng course, maybe some courses off of Udemy as well, but these definitely do not warrant this level of pricing. So next up at unit four is when you actually learn about deep learning. So as I can see, uh, the amount of time which is spent on actual machine learning is pretty little. Uh, it's just about 60 hours and then you just straight up go into deep learning and you explore about different neural networks and so on. And in unit five and six is where you guys have some sort of case studies with natural language processing and computer vision. So as I was saying earlier, a lot of these just machine learning courses, not even machine learning boot camps, but a lot of machine learning courses, if you look at the curriculum, they do teach you a lot of these kind of things like natural language processing, computer vision, uh, time series data, these type of things. Now, why do they do that? Because that's what a lot of the industry deals with. This is a type of problems that the industry is trying to solve. So it just makes sense to teach you these type of things because it is it makes you more job ready. Obviously, there's a lot of different things that you can do with machine learning, but these are a very small scope within that. But because this is some of the most popular things which a lot of companies are trying to use. So that's why you guys are being taught this. Unit seven, uh, building and deploying large scale AI systems. So I guess it's more of perhaps looking at the different type of applications and software that uh, a lot of the industries and companies actually use when it comes to machine learning and how they deploy their machine learning algorithms. I think it will be done at this point. And unit eight is a capstone project and unit nine is career support. As I was saying previously, what you're actually paying for in this whole machine learning bootcamp, I honestly think it's just for this whole 
uh, career support, you know, looking at your CV, looking at your personal networks, looking at your LinkedIn profile, looking at all the different type of profiles, looking at your GitHub profile, uh, going through that and trying to see how to build upon that. I think that is maybe some of the most valuable things that they can offer you. I, and I honestly think that is honestly what you're paying for here for a machine learning bootcamp because you're not exactly paying for the courses. The courses are offered for free online. So for the career support to only be such a small amount of time within this entire uh, machine learning bootcamp, I think they can do more than that. I think because since you're paying so much, I think there should be a longer career support. Okay, next up, let's look at the actual mentors. If you notice, this is a machine learning bootcamp, but a lot of the mentors, they're actually data scientists. So there is a bit of disconnect there. And as I was saying, it's highly likely that if you do go for these type of bootcamps, you're probably going to land a job as a data scientist or a data analyst. It's pretty rare to actually land a job as a machine learning engineer from one of these bootcamps because Till now, a lot of machine learning engineering positions, they do require you to have a master's or a PhD. So this right here is honestly what you're paying for when you're actually paying for this bootcamp. Create a successful job search strategy, build your professional network, find the right job titles and companies. That is actually pretty smart. And I think that's a skill that a lot of people lack. So it's worth knowing that. Crafting your resume and LinkedIn profile acing the job interview, negotiating your salary. Now, I don't, I find it kind of skeptical how they are fitting all of this within 30 hours, but you know, that's the deal. So is this program right for me? How much prior experience is needed? So to, most students in this course will have completed a bachelor's degree in engineering and have more than two years of work experience. No programming well enough to be comfortable picking up a new language using resources on the web. So, do you remember how way back I was saying none of these machine learning bootcamps actually get into uh, any sort of programming, whether it's R or Python, and they also don't bother teaching any sort of statistics or linear algebra or any math which is associated with machine learning. And that's precisely why. Because it's it's kind of uh, because they make sure that the people that they take in as students for these machine learning bootcamps, they are they already have a bachelor's degree in engineering, so they probably have some sort of background with calculus, statistics, linear algebra. So that's taken care of, and they have more than two years of work work experience, which shows that they kind of have a a good background to actually switch careers anyway. And also no programming well enough to be comfortable to pick up new language to pick up a new language using resources on the web. So they're kind of already scouting for students and candidates who they know if given the right tools they can easily switch and also land a job as a data analyst, data scientist or a machine learning engineer. So they're kind of setting themselves up for success and also the people who they are taking in as students as well. Because they definitely don't want their numbers to look bad. You know, they don't want to offer any sort of refunds. So right off the bat, they make sure that you are a good candidate to be hired in this sort of field. So with these machine learning boot camps, you're not actually paying for the courses or the educational content that's actually freely available online in a lot of cases. But what you're actually paying for is that one-on-one -on -one mentorship. It's also that resume building, going over your portfolio, going over how you should interview for these machine learning engineering roles or data scientist roles or data analyst roles. So now you know what the advantages of a bootcamp are and what you're actually paying for. So what? So who are the best candidates for these bootcamps? Well, I think one of the best candidates for these bootcamps is people who are already working in tech. For example, if you're a software developer, but you're really, really interested in switching over to machine learning and AI, you want to be a machine learning engineer, but you're working a nine to five already. So it's really hard for you to figure out how to get into machine learning, what to learn and all of this. 
So by taking a bootcamp, you already have these things figured out for you. So I think that's a great investment for you. The second type of people who these machine learning bootcamps might be good for are recent graduates or people who are about to graduate and they want to increase their chances of getting hired. I think all of that one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, the resume building, improving on your LinkedIn profiles, improving, improving on your social profiles is going to really help you because I'm sure it's not really thought to you in your universities. But I also think that you can learn all of these things online and also if you really want to spend money on, I think it's really worth it to actually spend money on hiring a career coach and having some sort of one-on-one -on -one session with a career coach who specializes in machine learning. So that's probably where you guys should invest your money if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a machine learning bootcamp. So guys, if you have stuck around till this end, I'm actually giving away a free PDF of an entire machine learning roadmap for 2021, which includes a bunch of amazing resources and breaks down all the sort of courses that you should take and all the different stages in your learning. So definitely download that. It's linked in the description box below, so definitely check it out. So what do you guys think? Would you take a bootcamp or have you already taken one? If so, be sure to share your experience in the comment section below. I really would love to read more about that. And also let me know if you guys are interested in taking these sort of bootcamps or would you actually prefer to learn these things by yourself? Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.